Hello everybody, welcome back to a Technician's Corner. This is Cougar and this is a Precision 7520. We're going to go ahead and replace the palm rest on this. And uh, as you can see, I'm starting to take out the screws on the back. First thing I'm going to do is take out this hard drive right here. And there are, of course, four screws for that. Now once that uh, is done, you can, of course, lift it out. And then I want to take out the little flat ribbon cables there of course is uh, some tape here that uh, holds the larger one down and you can save that if you want it's not completely necessary then I want to pop out all these little ribbon cables that go across the back uh, there should be four for the keyboard and then there's actually one more for the actual palm rest itself and then I'm starting in on all of the screws that go around the back of the chassis Now one right here happens to be a little different than most of the rest and it's a little bit longer. Not sure exactly what that is, but uh, that is an 8mm length instead of only a 5mm length. Now once I've got all of them out of the chassis here, I uh, go ahead and I'm going to be removing the keyboard components. Uh, it's just the bezel and the keyboard. There's a few screws on the keyboard. Uh, there are other videos for that to uh, let you know. But uh, here we've got two uh, ribbon cables that you're going to release. And these have vertical uh, types of hold downs rather than the little flip levers. You do have to be careful with these because if you pull them too hard they will pull out and then they're excessively difficult to uh, try and actually get back in if you didn't break them. And there's a handful of screws here that are underneath where the keyboard lays. Uh, there are two shorter screws right there towards the top and uh, those are the ones that are closest towards the center of the LCD and then the rest of them are the longer screws. As you can see, you can sit there and kind of grab from the little openings to uh, pull this up and out. There are also some push through areas on the underside. Uh, when you have it flipped over underneath the battery, there is one section that actually says push and uh, that's what lets it pop out. Uh, so got the new one and uh, this is being done because the trackpad stopped working. So we go ahead and uh, replace that with the new one. And uh, once we get it all snapped down around the edges, it's just pretty much just the reverse of everything that I did before. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything's tight. Then we're going to go ahead and get those cables back in, being very careful that the verticals are seated down properly and the wires are all the way inside the, the little slot there. It's sometimes a little bit harder to tell with these because they don't have the notches like the ones that lay down flat and then once you get it in there you have to make sure that you push the keeper down on both sides so that it uh, actually seats down and isn't cockeyed because if it's cockeyed it won't make proper connection Now then, like I said, this is just basically the reverse of before, so all you're going to do now is put the keyboard back in, make sure the cables are connected and you get the screws in the keyboard. You're going to put the bezel in and uh, make sure that the palm rest screws from the back end on the chassis are all screwed back in. Uh, nothing real difficult. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Cougar, another episode from Technician's Corner. I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.